All right, so something you're gonna get really good at is laundry and folding sheets. So I try to make all my sheets and pillowcases roughly the same size, which can be tricky, but you'll get a lot of practice, trust me. So I start pillowcases, you know, nice in half long ways and half again. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail because pillowcases are pretty easy to fold. What gets a little trickier are the bigger sheets. So I'm going to start with my flat sheet. Being the easiest of the two, whatever size I make my flat sheet, I'm going to try to match my fitted sheet to the same size. So I take the long side, which usually is that side that has a nice hem on it, and I take the bottom. So I'm taking the long sides of the rectangle and I'm matching them together. All right, so now give it a little shake, a little tug, just to get those sides nice and even. Now this is the side that has the fold in it. This is the side that's two open ends. So I'm going to drop the folded side. I'm going to get the two open ends. I'm going to slide my finger between. I'm going to go all the way down until I get to the other side because while I'm doing that, I'm keeping both those sides nice and evenly matched to each other. All right? That's what's going to make a sheet nice and tight and even. So now I have the open sides and the open sides. And I'm going to bring the two open sides together making another fold. So still the thick hem is at the top. Give it a little shake, shake, shake. Now, everybody folds their sheets a little different. This is how I do it. I take it up on my table. I'm going to take those open sides and I'm going to match them to the bottom. All right, shake, 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 tight, tight, tight. And then I'm going to do that same pattern again. All right, um, I could do, depending on the size, I could do three fold. Actually, I like to do a three-fold because my cupboard is small. So I bring it to the middle. And then I bring the other side up over. So now I have this nice, small fits in my cupboard. I can fit two and two side by side, which is perfect. And then I take my hand, and I'm going to kind of guesstimate. Is this how big I want my folded sheet to be? And I will fold. And then I will fold again. And then I will fold again. And if I'm lucky, the first time out is, Perfect. Sometimes it's not, so I do it again. So that's my fitted, or excuse me, that's my folded flat. My fitted, I'm going to try to make it that same size. All right, I'm going to show you how to fold a fitted sheet. Um, I am going to fold the fitted sheet so that it actually comes out inside out, which you wouldn't do if you were just doing it at home, doing nice sheets. Uh, the reason being, just to have the outside of the, sh the part that would normally be against the table on the outside, just gives it a little extra layer of sanitation in case somebody drops the sheets or something like that. So I'm going to start with the correct side, the right side of the sheet on the outside, and I put my hand in the corner. You can see the seam here. And I'm going to take the two long sides. So I'm going to put my, my middle finger goes right into the edge of each corner, and then I'm going to bring them together like a prayer position. And I'm going to flip one hand, keeping the hands together. Fingertips are still touching. And then I can shake all this down, bring it out. I'm going to put my hand back in there, hold my spot, and I'm going to make all this fit the right way. Okay, now you'll see that I have the second corner seam already lined up for me, so I can right away put two hands into each corner. There's more than one way to do this, but because of my sheets and the way I fold them and the size allows me to fit two sets next to each other on a shelf, I like to do it this way. So I'm going to lay the sheet down and I'm going to try and make it as square or a rectangle as possible. So my top edge has a little bit of a curve, so I'll fix that when we start folding. But my side edges, I kind of adjust them, tuck them, pull on them until they're nice and straight. Bring the bottom side, I bring it all the way almost up, kind of to just where the seam is here just based on my personal practice. This is what fits in my closet. And then I'm going to bring the top, and this is where it gets straightened up. I'm going to bring it down. So now I have a nice straight edge. And if I kind of bring this and lift it, it kind of looks like a really big envelope. I can lift it up for you. It kind of looks like a big envelope. But now my sides are all straight and flat. So for me, I can just fold it in half now. You may want to choose to do thirds or fourths your call as long as it's neat and then I'm going to start to do my little folds here and voila 
That is my final fitted sheet. It's super tight, it's super small, super neat.